Hi, thanks for checking out my channel. Today I'm going to be working on a washing machine. If you have a washing machine similar to this one, which is a front loader, uh, this is a Maytag Epic, uh, every once in a while you may have a problem to where your clothes are still wet and the screen is displaying a letter and a number sequence. In my case it's an F2. What that means is that there's a flow problem and I'm going to show you what you need to look at to fix it. So stay tuned. Where the problem really stems is that there's debris that will make its way through these holes that are inside, which is part of the draining system, uh, and get down into an area in which a filter is in place to catch any large items so it doesn't go through the pump that does all the pumping of the water out of the washing machine. And the problem that happens is that whenever that debris builds up, that filter basically gets clogged. And this is something you should check after every single wash. Just look down inside this rubber gasket and make sure that nothing has made its way down in here. Even with that said, things are gonna make their way down in here regardless. So just something to be aware of. So let's go ahead and jump into the problem or the fix of the problem right away. Okay, so I'm now down on the floor and what I'm going to do is pull off the panel this big access panel to get hold of the pump or the uh, front of the pump and you do that by removing these torque screws and now in this case there's three of them and they're T20 so what I want to do is remove those three T20 torque screws okay now I got those three screws taken out from underneath it's gonna lift this up I might have to pull this drawer out Lift this up and just drop it down a little bit. Now I'll push the drawer back in and grab the flashlight for you. And that's what we're going to access right here. This is where the filter trap is. And this is basically the pump assembly and the hoses that do all the drain or the, all the pumping for you and of course the draining too. So let's go ahead and jump into that real quick. Now as a side note, I wanted to show you something that's on the side of the washing machine. And that's this packet right here. And basically this is for service technicians uh, to give them some ideas of what to look for for troubleshooting on this specific machine. Now with that said, even though you're not a service technician, if you're doing a simple repair like this, you may want to pull this out and take a look at it because there's other things in there that will help you troubleshoot problems that you have with this machine. Now to remove this cap it may be a little bit stubborn and these well, this wire retainer may be a little bit in your way so what you can do is pull this out a little ways. Uh, basically you squeeze these tabs and it'll pop out. Anyways that one's, that one's up out of the way and then what we're going to do is try to uh, tap this a little bit see it turn slightly okay now that you have this loosened whenever you take it all the way out there's going to be some water that comes out so you may want to have a towel handy to help you catch and sop up what comes out expect to lose some on the floor or down into the drawer it's not a big deal and there you go now in my case you can see there's a toothpick in there and there's a looks like a dime or a penny we'll have to see what kind of money that is getting rich off this repair already and of course uh, some kind of a bread tie but for the most part the pumps not blocked off entirely too bad but you can see that it's still uh, it's still pretty filthy in there so I'll wipe that out, clean it up real well. What I used is a rag and a screwdriver to clean all this area out. Of course I cleaned then the filter. And you can see, although it's still dark in this area, this was blocked. There, You can see that the holes are clear now, but that was blocked. Those holes weren't even draining. Now you may pull your filter out and could be completely clogged with something. There may be a sock in there. There could be all kinds of things in there. So don't be surprised when you pull it out if there's a lot more stuff here. Now I've done this a few times, so over the years that I've caught most of it. 
whenever you're reinstalling this trap pay attention to this notch right here and the corresponding one that's right here and that's how you know how it goes back in you just slide that back in and once in you just twist this on just like you would screw a lid to a jar on and make sure you get it relatively snug but don't over tighten it with wrenches or anything because as again this is just plastic and it can break so now I'll put back the wire retainer that I removed earlier to make this more steady and I'll replace the panel and the screws and we'll test it out if this is the first time you've attempted a repair like this on your washing machine what I suggest is that you don't put the panel on right away and run a cycle through the washing machine with or without clothes in it to make sure that you don't have any leaks okay to replace the panel you do the same thing that you did before pull the drawer out this will lower tilt it up and lift it in place now I'll go ahead and replace the three screws that we removed earlier to get this out all right so I got it all back together As you can see it's pumping out all the water just fine everything looks good I don't have any coats coming up and the water's coming out at a pretty good pace over there in the uh, sump pump so looks like that this is all taken care of so with uh, you can expect this kind of a leakage whenever you're doing that repair this is all that has leaked out so if you want to put down towels on on your floor uh, that'll take care of anything that runs down off the floor onto the floor that you didn't get to catch with that towel as I had indicated earlier so I hope this helped out if you want to see more like this uh, thumbs up subscribe I appreciate it and this is a repair that really anybody can do it's not very difficult at all uh, you need a T20 Torx bit and uh, basically taking out those three screws and then loosening that up and then just cleaning from that point on. So it's a really easy repair and uh, it's about a hundred and anywhere from 150 to maybe uh, $250 for a repairman to come out and do this. So something easy to do, something to look forward to do if you have that code for your washing machine. I appreciate it and thanks as always for watching. Bye.